Welcome to the Food Psychology Channel. We provide quick informative videos related to healthy food choices. Want to learn which cooking oils are bad for your health and why? Do you want to learn how to find healthy cooking oils to eat? Are you tired of the hype and are absolutely confused about which healthy oils to eat? Around 50 years back saturated fat was painted as the enemy of the heart. Refined oils such as canola, sunflower, soybean oils were touted as heart healthy. Refined seed and vegetable oils were widely adopted and many became scared of saturated fat. But recent studies show that eliminating saturated fat is not a good idea. Saturated fat helps the liver to function more effectively, boosts the immune system, and aids in the regulation of hormones. The food industry likes refined oils because they have a higher shelf life, do not have any natural flavor and are cheap to produce. Refining oil does remove harmful pesticides. Refining also removes aflatoxins which are produced by any fungi growing on oil seeds. But refined oils are getting under more scrutiny as they are processed with chemical solvents such as hexane, neutralizers, de-waxers, bleach, and deodorizers. Refined oils are heated to high temperatures which create free radicals and trans fats that are bad for health. Refined oils are mostly based on genetically modified crops which are banned in some countries. Many processed foods also use refined vegetable oils that are fully or partially hydrogenated. Hydrogenation involves forcing hydrogen gas into oil at high pressure to make it into solid. Hydrogenated solid vegetable oils are used in place of butter in processed foods as they are cheap. Hydrogenated oils undergo processing which produces trans fats that are blamed for many chronic diseases. Hence trans fats are banned in several countries and many brands are removing them as they need to be labeled now. So always stay away from hydrogenated vegetable oils such as margarine, vegetable shortening. If you want to learn about similar topics please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell to see new videos. Please like and share the video on social media. The traditional methods of making oil are much healthier but it makes less oil and it's more expensive. Due to increasing awareness, many are now switching to expeller pressed or cold pressed oils. Expeller pressed oils are extracted using pressure and friction rather than chemicals. Expeller pressed oils are more suited for high temperature cooking, unlike cold pressed oils. In cold pressed oils no chemicals, additives are used and oil is extracted by using a wooden press machine. Cold pressed oils do not cross temperatures more than 80 degrees Fahrenheit to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is labor intensive but produces the best oils. Labels such as cold pressed, unrefined, virgin, means that the oil was not treated with heat, not extracted with solvents, and not deodorized. The term, cold pressed, is regulated in Europe, it's not very well regulated in the US though. So don't take cold pressed label at face value. Always read the ingredient list and make sure that refined oils are not being added. By choosing organic oil you can avoid GMOs, pesticides, and hexane extraction. Look for unrefined, expeller pressed, organic oils, and verify cold pressed label. You can find better cooking oils in small shops that specialize only in selling cooking oil. Always be aware of the smoking point of the oil you are buying. Heating the oil at high temperatures, again and again, makes it carcinogenic and hence should be avoided. Heat the pan first and add your oil. Don't overheat the oil and immediately add the ingredients. Eating more whole foods such as avocados, coconut, nuts, and fish for healthy fats instead of using oils is the best way. In the upcoming video, we will talk about saturated, mono, and polyunsaturated fats. Learn which of those fats are good for you and how to eat them. 
so stay tuned. In conclusion, avoid hydrogenated oils and highly refined oils. Try to get if possible expeller or cold pressed oils and don't be scared of saturated fats found in butter, ghee, coconut oil. Knowledge is power so take tiny steps each day for holistic changes. Take care of your body by understanding what you are putting into it. Please comment, which oil do you use, and why? Was the video useful? Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to see new videos. Remember that your health is the most important asset in your life. Money cannot buy health all the time. Do not keep your health in others' hands. Follow us on social media. Check the video description to find links. Thanks for watching.